What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the Clear Cryptos educational channel. My name is T Hobbs from the Crypto Shop. And of course, you know, I got my man Jay Seals with me. What's going on, brother? What's good, everybody? Guys, listen, sometimes we cover the education. Sometimes we cover the news. Today is no different. Here over here at the Clear Cryptos educational channel, we're going to be bringing you some information, some news that we think you may want to pay attention to as we're getting closer and closer to regulation, as we get closer and closer to finding out how are we going to move forward with, clip, with crypto? We got the White House calling on Congress to step up its efforts on crypto regulation. So, Justin, take us away. All right. So, four senior U.S. officials in the Biden administration published a statement on Friday urging Congress to step up its efforts with respect to regulating the cryptocurrency market. The officials, Brian Deese, director of the National Economic Council, Oh, God. Uh, Arati Prabhakar. I think I did that right. <laughs> Director of the White House <clears throat> Office of Science and Technology Policy, Cecilia Rouse, Chair of the Council of Economic Advisors, and the National Secretary Advisor, Jack, or Jake Sullivan, wrote that Congress should expand regulatory powers to prevent misuses of customer assets and to mitigate conflicts of interest. Other suggestions for Congress in the statement included strengthening transparency and disclosure requirements for crypto companies, strengthening penalties for violations of illicit financial rules, and working closely with international law enforcement partners. The officials also made suggestions about what Congress should not do in terms of crafting new regulation for crypto, including lighting mainstream institutions like pension funds to dive headlong into crypto markets. God, I'm actually... I'm actually liking everything I'm hearing right now. Like, this doesn't <laughs> sound bad at all. Uh, to do so, the officials warned, would be a grave mistake that deepens ties between cryptocurrencies and the broader financial system. Now, I I think the reason why is because they don't want the broader financial system to go down. But at the same time, the broader financial system has a leg up over damn near everybody. So I kind of like the fact that they're trying to keep them separate. Um, through the speculator, speculator, spe specular... Yeah, specular collapses of <laughs> neither the ill-fated Luna stablecoin nor the now defunct crypto exchange and our favorite FTX were directly named in the statement. The effects of both loom large over the official's guidance, which called 2022 a tough year for cryptocurrencies, pegged by the, the implosion of so-called stablecoins prompting a wave of insolvencies and the, subsequent and the subsequent downfall of a major cryptocurrency exchange, even though the stablecoin had nothing to do with the fall of FTX, but you know, whatever, they don't know about crypto. Some cryptocurrency entities ignore applicable financial regulations and basic risk controls. In addition, cryptocurrency platforms often, often mislead consumers, have conflict of interest, fail to make adequate disclosures or commit outright fraud, they wrote. The White House concerns, as well as its recommendations, echo similar remarks made by US regulators, including the CFTC, Commissioner Kristen Johnson, who called on Congress earlier this week to expand CFTC's authority to conduct due diligence on crypto acquisitions. However, the reasonable the responsibility to regulate crypto does not fall only on congressional shoulders. In their statement, the four officials said the Biden administration itself would be unveiling priorities for digital assets research development, UG, which will help the technology powering cryptocurrencies protect consumers by default in the coming months. Safeguards will ensure the new technologies are secure and beneficial to all, and that the new digital economy works for many, not just the few, they wrote, which is kind of funny because I kind of already feel like it is working for the many. It's just that, you know, they don't want that to happen. They just want the few to get paid. So <laughs> what you got, Hobbs? Uh, I mean, here's the thing. It's the Biden administration. That's the only problem that I have with this. It all sounds really, really good, but they've been working on this for two years, right? They started with the federal, uh, the executive order to look into crypto, and now they're kind of leaning on the White House to try to do something about crypto. I think that the sooner they get something done, the better, but we're heading into that election year territory, right? People are going to start trying to get elected. So you're going to hear more and more of these stories of crypto because I think they're starting to realize crypto has a pretty big voice nowadays. So will they actually get anything done? I think that's yet to be seen. I honestly don't think it'll get done probably until 2025. And they're most likely going to start just with centralized exchanges. It all depends on who the next uh, president is. 
what their focus is on and, you know, how much noise crypto can make in the next year or two. So those are kind of my thoughts on it. Yeah. The, the one thing I will say though, is that with Biden and the regulation more than likely because of the way that Congress is set up right now, it's going to have to become an executive order yep. and that can easily be undone by the next president. So anything that Biden does, I wouldn't worry about it. It won't be too long lasting unless, you know, it is. Uh, the next president could easily come back in and be like, nah, I don't like that executive order. We're going to get rid of it. It's going to be really up to Congress to really hardline crypto and shape it regulatory wise to where it's quote unquote safe for everybody. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. But you guys let me know. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Clear Cryptos Education. Come on back over. Catch me and Justin over here uh, putting out some nice video content for you guys. And uh, my name is T. Hobbs from the Crypto Shop. That man above is Jay Seals. And we'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace.